with that, let's bring the Blairstown boys in. Jimmy J. Oh, my guy, my guy, Lauren. What's in South up, Jersey J. Here we go, guys. On? Here we go, baby. Now, How are we doing? Before so I even get into this, you hear my voice. I lost it, and it's not even because of a promo. It's my allergies kicking the living hell out of me, and it's prevented me from doing more promos. So <laughs> screw you, allergies. I honestly think you're at a nine instead of your ten, so it's not much of a fuck. Not much? Uh, well, I, don't, I, I sound like I'm going through puberty again. I don't know, guys. Yeah. Well, I'm happy to be on here. Well, you have to be here because, like, uh, look, I, I made you guys graphics. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Top tier, Lauren. I, I love it. Thank, thank, thank you so much, brother. Hey, listen, first of all, I got to tell you, I appreciate uh, you having us on the show. And it's always good to see that other guy right there, right? This up, that ruggedly, and I do mean ruggedly handsome individual, the Silver Fox himself, South Jersey Jason. So it's good to be on. Thanks for having us. So, yeah. So for everybody listening, um, these these boys are doing something so amazing up in Blairstown. As I said in the top of the show, these guys are uh, Blairstown, New Jersey. For any of the non-horror fans currently watching is where they filmed uh, the original Friday the 13th. So every Friday the 13th for I don't know how many years now, people have been flocking to that town. And uh, these guys, Jimmy J and South Jersey Jason here, they had an idea about doing a mini con. So... Boys, just go for it. What's what what, what we got on deck here? You, you want to right, start Jimmy. or you want me to go? Yeah. Nah, Jimmy, you're the talker. I'll fill in. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying <laughs> to talk. <laughs> uh, anyway, well, first of all, uh, it's a two-day affair going on in Blairstown, New Jersey. The iconic Blairstown Diner, uh, Friday the 13th, Saturday the 14th. Uh, we have a slew, an array, a plethora of guests coming on out, alumni coming on out there. Uh, Laura Marie Taylor, Bill Randolph. Ron Milky, Ron Sloan, Carol Locatel, uh, Debbie Voorhees, Tracy Savage. The list goes on. Sean Richards. Uh, this, I mean, the list goes on. And you know what? Uh, I can't forget that we have this guy right here, the handsome diner guy, also going to be in attendance. <laughs> and we have uh, the mini first ever Friday the 13th fan film alumni attending a convention. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. of course, of course, mini Jason, uh, those yeah. that know her. Um, uh, Our the daddy pint 85. Size, the pint size pulverizer herself. <laughs> Uh, she's going to be there. It's going to be just a great time. No, uh, you know, coming on out. Cause we, you know, when you look at the event, it's more than just signings and, uh, you know, photo ops. And I tell everybody that too. Uh, we have so many layers to this. So, you know, some conventions have it as well. They have the Q and a sessions and, uh, they have, maybe some may have the dinner, but that's what we really focus on. That's what we, uh, specialize on. And that's our forte having the dinner where it gives you that opportunity to sit down and hang out with the alumni. So both nights, there's going to be a dinner and a movie. We're going to be screening a couple of different films. One of those are uh, 13 fanboy because Debbie Voorhees is going to be there. And we're going to have a Q and a about that as well on Saturday. Um, we're screening part five because we, we are going to have, you know, Ron. Yeah, over you got there. enough of them, yeah. Uh, I would like to fit uh, – also, I think part two we're going to do, because, you know, Lauren's going to be there, Bill's going to be there. Um, and then, of course, I can't forget about Sean Richards, that incredible documentary that he put together for part three, because it is the 40th anniversary of part three. Crazy. Unfortunately, man, we couldn't get uh, a lot of people that we wanted to have for the show because of different obligations. So Tracy's going to be there. Great. And yep. Sean, and that's why we want to have that that in memoriam, that documentary playing there. It's a tribute to Richard Brooker, uh, Sean and Tracy. They're going to be answering any questions about part three in the doc. I mean, there's other layers. I mean, Brian, costume competition, wedding vow renewals. Yeah. This guy dressing up as Jace, he's ordained. And but don't forget too, you got vendors there too. So there, there's oh you yeah, know, it's, uh, it's yeah. not just a guest. For anyone who's ever been to Blairstown before this, it's like. It's this, the, you know, the community, some of the stores, and it it was it's interesting. You you could do the Annie Walk, you go to the Blairstown Diner, but you 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 two are doing something awesome and original yeah. here, and that's why I was like jumping right on. I want to be a part of this. I want to help wherever I could. Yeah, yeah. Not only is this the first of its kind to happen in Blairstown. Now they've had other events before, but this is the first where the alumni we haven't or having there have never been to Blairstown. Some have been to the camp, but never yeah. in Blairstown. So that's it's really big. And what's a really awesome feeling is to see 
the event shared in other Friday the 13th groups and even Friday the 13th franchise shared our event on their Twitter account about a month ago. That's great. And for, for anyone who's actually been to the uh, actual campground, this oh, mm -hmm. is actual water from Camp Crystal Lake. Is it drinkable? It's, I would not drink this if you paid me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not. You're not and, I mean, well, you know, you're not. kids peed on it. <laughs> it's going to help my voice. <laughs> but I just, I just think I was like, I saw the water. I'm like, I'm taking some of this water. It's part of a, <laughs> it's nostalgic. Yep. <laughs> So. Yeah, they're um the, the camp is actually doing tours that weekend. So we have people who are going to the tour uh, on Friday and then coming to our event on Saturday. So it's it's really cool that they'll get to do have both experiences. Yes, it, it, it's it's really important if you could get onto the site. What even if it wasn't you know the Blairstown weekend, like any time to have it like I don't know six six times a year ish, and mm -hmm. you, you should really go if you're a horror movie fan. Yeah, it, it's. It's, it's just amazing being there, and it, you, you feel it. You do. Yep. You just feel it, you know? And yeah. Anyone who looks at, like, my current picture on uh, Facebook right now, I'm with the Blair – you know, I'm with the only Chris T Camp Crystal Lake sign from 1980, and anyone can take their picture there with it. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. Yeah. And, you're, Lauren, you're going to be there too, man. Uh, That's right. we got a special table for you, the dark military. Bring out the entire crew. You got it set up, my man. I can't wait for, for you to come out there, set up shop too, and – uh, it's exciting, man. It's every, every convention I noticed since I met you at the NJ, I'm starting to see you there. You're going to become family. Don't expect a Christmas gift, though. I'm not even getting some of my own family. I don't get, I, am, I <laughs> haven't done that in 20 years. Anyone who knows me, I'm, I disappear in December. Like, don't even think about it. Like, <laughs> but no, but yeah, you're right. And anyone, any of us that are involved with the horror community, I don't think you're really a part of it if you're not going to conventions. And yeah. that's where I met. I passed your table. You know, about six months ago to a year, and you know that Jimmy, that's where you and I first started talking. So, and it just it all springs. Uh, you know, I had a uh, Chris Rowan on yesterday on this show. Well, you know, from the Buffalo Bill House. Like, I wouldn't have got to know him if he wasn't at conventions. Okay, like, yeah. it's another it, extended family member. Yep, it, 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 it chain reacts. And if you're involved with horror movies and you're not going to conventions, you're half wrong right there. Like if you're you're an actor or an actor, you have to go to that. Yeah, it's all about that networking and getting your name, your brand out. I think that's what helped us going to the the last two uh, NJ Harcon. Really. And we're not even and dude, we're not even out there, man. No. I don't even consider. And I want people to understand this too. Like we are, we're fans. Okay, yeah. this is fans doing things for fans. And and to be honest with you, man, uh, I look at everybody, everybody that, that that comes out there. Number one, I appreciate everyone coming out there because. For you spending time with us, you know, I tell everybody this too. You, Lauren, too. You, Brian. I mean, time is something you can't get back. No. And, and you're actually taking the time out of your life to come out and at one of our events and spend the time with us. That's priceless, man. For me, I, I gratitude, forget about it. I, I, words can't even express my gratitude. And, uh, you know, uh, especially as fans, uh, we're excited about this just as much as everybody else is. You know, yeah, I it wouldn't surprise me at all if you're going to get people in from around the country, man. Like, really, I, I think. Well, we, we, we actually are worldwide. We have uh, there's Pitbull. someone coming in from um, yeah, some mm -hmm. there's someone coming in from England. Uh, you know, he's doing both the, the Campus Lake tour and ours. But we have someone as far as Oregon coming out, so and other states as well. So it's Michigan. A uh, shout yeah. out to uh, what was it? Uh, I think Ohio was uh, Mr. Mr. Rick P. I don't want to give out his yeah. last name. Canada. Uh, we got Stefan from right. Canada. Gentleman, yeah, gentleman from Oregon, Canada. I mean, uh, UK. I mean, the guy Colin, I believe his name is from UK. He's coming to Crystal Lake tours, like you said, but he's still taking the time out to come with the family to what we have going on, our festivities over there. So I'm excited about it. I really am, and just to meet everybody too. It's uh, you know, you grow, you grow the family. I'm growing the family Friday the 13th, and people could buy their tickets right now for you at. Eventbrite.com. Okay, oh, right? where? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you were going to drop uh, F13 Minicon. Eventbrite.com. That's F13 Minicon. Eventbrite.com. Come on, give my voice back, baby. Or they can look up Eventbrite, right? Because they're the ones yeah. that are doing your tickets. Yeah. Yeah. Eventbrite's doing the tickets. So just yeah. look up F, uh, F13 Minicon. Yeah. They have um, and, up uh, to May 9th to purchase the tickets online. Yeah. Uh, at, on, after the, the 9th is over. Um, the online tickets will uh, stop, but you can still buy your tickets at the door. But 
just like any event, the general mission will be, you know, a little bit more, not too, like 25 hours versus yeah, 1980. 25. So get your tickets now. Yeah, I, I do recommend it because, like, oh, you know, online it's going to be again 1980. Got to go. That's when the original film came out. Why yeah. not uh, 1980? And then uh, at the door is going to be 25. And I don't even like doing that, but I have to because, uh, you know, also they have to know the diner and the township. They need to know how many people. Like, give me an estimate. Yeah, so, yeah. There's extra people coming out. Sometimes there, you know, there's certain requirements and permits and stuff like that. And there's a lot that goes into this. And I know, Lauren, you may know this. Uh, Brian, I know you know this now. Like behind the scenes people don't know that it, it looks like oh wow this is you know it's, it's great and i would love to talk about that at another time yeah uh just the stuff that happens behind the scenes to organize this kind of event because mm -hmm. uh, it, it's it's what i like to call controlled chaos mm -hmm. uh, it, it, you know? you're completely right with that i know you don't want to go into details i know you and i had some light chats on this but like a guy who's run 26 film festivals that's work concert halls that it, I always said too when I was in wrestling, everybody wants to be a wrestler and come through that curtain and wrestle for eight minutes and go back and think it's the greatest. Everything that happens on that curtain before and after, it's insane. Just yeah. to just to get that eight minutes of glory and what you're doing, you know, whether it's between Blairstown dealing with the cat, you know, your guests, your vendors. I mean, I'm pretty sure you probably sent emails out answering every question and there's just asking the question right back here it's like oh, oh dude let me let me yeah. explain this guys you can see this firsthand the most the strongest muscle now in my body is my two thumbs uh right here with the text right here yeah. look at this it's, it's, oh, i thought you were saying this right here <laughs> uh, what, what, what the mouthpiece of the northeast baby no but other than that it's the two thumbs um yeah. But yeah, it's been a lot, a lot of messages. Brian, thank you for helping. I mean, he's this guy yeah. right here, Jersey Jason, has been a tremendous help. Hard Daddy eighty five, you know, Josh, the other man. The, the without them two, and without the the great volunteers that we have, and a team that we have behind the scenes, even yourself, Lauren, yeah, uh, this would not be able to come to fruition. So I got to thank everybody right now. I, right? I, I, I want to yell at Amazon today because the speakers that I was help providing for you guys, I wanted to pull them up and show, show them that they, 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 they were supposed to be in today. They told me they're coming tomorrow, yeah. but uh, I'll get them for you guys this weekend when I see you at the, uh, yeah, the one thing I, that I love working with Jimmy is the organization because, you know, I've been to many conventions as a, just a regular buying a ticket and I'm like, man, this is just so unorganized. But when Jimmy and I did CJ, we every day we're on the phone, we're taking notes and 98% on that day ran without a problem. I mean, the only thing we had against us was like the heat that day. Yeah. And so, you know, and we learned from that event you know to plan for the next one so we're gonna have a great time the 13th and the 14th and it's it's a month from next week like next week is the half of the month is over i know it's, i can't believe it's it's gonna be it's, it's crunch time yeah, it's yeah. Right, you know i'm gonna help you guys out with those those commercials i'm just gonna keep them coming and you know and i can see why when you had cj why you made sure everything ran smooth because uh cj is Completely diesel. He looks like <laughs> you. Dude, I mean, he, he, he headlock. Yeah, it, like we had a little skit going, and, and people thought that was real. <laughs> like uh, CJ owed me money. I remember at the at the con, I'm like, "Hey, CJ, Jimmy J Entertainment, you still owe me money." And he grip, but his grip, okay. I like he didn't even know it. He almost tore the whole blaze. I'm like, Jesus. I, I, I just, don't. When you really look at that, was like 1986. Was was Friday 13th. 36 Park. years ago. And like Almost. he's, I look at him. I'm like Jesus. Like he, he's just wow. He's holding that he's, down. Like yeah, he's probably he's in better shape. He's probably in better shape now than when he was. Oh, he's like a country a, boy, man. Now yeah. you know he has that when when you when you yeah when you have that farm life, man. You, you're gonna be diesel. Uh, that's there's no way around that. Yeah, uh, he's Jack though, man, and he's uh and showed it just not even trying effortlessly. Just grabbing me at the convention. Oh yeah, even oh, in the yeah. photo ops, like uh, when I was, it was me and Jimmy. He like grabbed me by my neck and pulled me back. Like <laughs> I, was, yeah. I was not, I was not expecting oh, that. that. Oh, this this one right here, right here. Yeah, oh, yeah. This, is, this is legit. Like, like he pulled my whole shirt back, and I was the face that it was, it was nuts in that one. Uh, but it wouldn't yeah, make much if CJ Graham was to grab anybody to make that face. <laughs> you know, yeah. Dude, I, I'm telling you, I had to check my pants twice. 
I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I think having our first event with CJ was great because he's such a businessman, and we learned a lot from him. Uh, yeah, you know, oh, hats yeah. off to him, and uh, you know, it was, him and Ruby, man. God bless yeah. them both. Uh, you know, yep. CJ and then Ruby, they've been a blessing, uh, and I definitely want to do more business with them in the future. Um, you know, so yeah. That, speaking of, so I learned a lot from. Speaking yep. of photo ops, so we have two. Uh, professional photo ops on Friday. Uh, we have Lauren Marie Taylor in the infamous brown panties. Now, Lauren, did you see Jimmy's Hold commercial on for that? I did. <laughs> one she, he, he could go, he could go hang gliding with those. With these? You mean these right here, baby? <laughs> Come on, baby. Listen, this, this took me like, I felt like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible trying to get out of there, out of the women's section without nobody noticing me, trying to look, sift through the underwear, the brown panties. And there's middle-aged women like, what the hell is this guy doing? And then I'm walking to the chair. Oh, with just a pair of underwear. Like, okay, this guy's a little freaky. Nah, here. I'm why, sure you why, have some other why? things. As if like when you were younger and you would buy like the pack of Trojans, you know, you had bubble gum and two Yeah, I, I, I did have a pack of gum. I had to have something but, else. I'm like, yeah, no so way. I talked with Lauren and I was like, Lauren, did you uh, see Jimmy's video? She's like, yes. She's like, I got to get him back. So I said, well, why don't we have him take a photo with you in his brown panties? And that will be our profile picture for like a month and she said that's a great idea um she is a pleasure to work with we got to oh, meet yeah. her at the uh, his name was jason uh fan film premiere and we had her on our show uh and in addition ron milky will be in officer dwarf attire as well so you have two yep. uh individuals to take photos with and oh, he's, he's great ron 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 milky is such a wait, great guy wait a minute brian you know you're forgetting something while lauren is gonna be in her brown panties I said I have to lead by example. I will be throwing these on. There you go. Photo op, just the hour of the photo op. Now, don't, don't get scared now. Don't get excited, some people out there. Okay, I will have something underneath these. Lauren okay. will always be the queen of, of the big panties. <laughs> yeah. Well, probably the only one that maybe uh, even tried doing that was uh, Elizabeth Banks and Zach and Mary make a porno, the granny panties. They, yeah. They, yeah. No one even goes near that. <laughs> Well, this is going to be very interesting for that one hour of uh, photo ops. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm excited to see Lauren and Bill again. Um, you know, I have yet to meet Ron Sloan and Carol Locatel. I'm ex so excited because they don't ever really come on the East Coast. So I am very excited to get their autographs and get photos with them. And of course, Tracy Savage. Uh, I do have her autograph, but have not met her in person. And, I've never. Um, she might be the only one I never met, like met. Yeah, because that's that that then that, that I did, guys. This was like something like you were to tell me when I was a kid. Like, wow, I could be you know one day when you get older, these guys are gonna throw this con together and you're gonna be a part of it. I was like, what you know? So well, I'm living a fantasy because you know I've been watching Friday Thirteenth since I was five, and yeah. I never. If you told me five years ago that I would be doing something like this, I'd be like, knock it out of here. So I'm living like a bucket list. That's, so it's, it's really it's cool. Gonna, it's going to be something. And for yeah. anyone who doesn't know, usually the, when when the Blair's Town, all the previous Friday 13th, it was just on Friday the 13th. Yeah. You guys are Friday the 13th and Saturday the 14th. You're like the first one to hold the double. Yeah. double I've, I've been to town on Saturday the 14th, and you would never have known – Friday the 13th was the day before because it goes back to being a, yep. a ghost town. A basically. ghost town, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I don't, you know, not to knock the town, but it's true. Like Friday the 13th, it, it draws so many people into that town from all over the place. Uh, and, you know, the, the thing, I'm glad you brought that up too because, you know, we plan on doing uh, a lot of different kind of events and definitely in Blairstown. We want to still work with the diner uh, after this and, and hopefully do some other events with other alumni out there. Uh, one day, I'm looking one day events because the two day thing outside, there are obstacles that, you know, a lot of people don't don't know behind the scenes, like but for throwing a two day event, especially outdoors. Mm -hmm. uh, it's different, uh, especially with the capacity that we're expecting. I mean, looking at it right now, uh, I'm, I'm estimating 300 or better, uh, you know, especially with the vendors and all that stuff, too. I mean. You know, but anyway, we do plan on expanding outside of Friday the Thirteenth other franchise. I know that was a question that came up a couple times to me. Uh, people were saying, "Or oh, are you going to work with other, you know, uh, franchises?" I said, yes, we are. Yes, uh, we have some things in store next year. I'm working on right now, uh, but for right now, for this year, this is it. This is the Friday Thirteenth Mini Con, and the next big thing we're doing is with Kane Hodder in uh, in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, Bethlehem uh, Allentown region, December 10th. 
So that's really like our lineup this year because we want to make some rounds this year. We want to go to some other conventions, start getting out there a little more, and then uh, start setting up for a big uh, 2023. I, I think this is a – like. Plus, you just said the Kane Hodder thing on December 10th. So I think this is you're you guys are off to a really good start because you're you're gonna learn a lot from this. I always said like you'll you'll know where to improve things you overlooked, but like I, there's no way I'll let that happen again. And you also you you're gonna think of easier ways. You just got to get through it. Yeah, it's yeah. that threshold you got to pass, and and, yeah. and I think that's what that's what we're doing. That's what we're gonna do, and you know we're excited about it, man. And, and you know uh, it, it makes it it makes our job easier. Uh, to have great people in this business and this uh, community, this horror community, like yourself, like Chris Rowan, like other people that just don't, without even me asking or anything, like you just, you help us promote, you're sharing things. Yeah, It, it makes it, you know, easier. You know, we got that family atmosphere. Uh, and that's what I look at with the horror community. It's it's like a big family. It really is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So South Jersey, Jason, where exactly as I am a South Jersey man. So where exactly do you hail from? Uh, well, originally I uh, grew up in Egg Harbor Township, but now I reside in Vineland. Okay. All right. okay. Hail in Deptford. So, yeah. all right. Not too far. <laughs> waving waving at you for when I do my outdoor movie screenings. Cause uh, we, do, yeah. we do a lot of them here. So, where, yeah, do you, where do you do your outdoor screenings at? Uh, in Deptford, where I live, like I got oh, a giant okay. outdoor, so you know, killer clowns, and we do. Oh, we, nice. we, we always, we always do something. A lot naked gun. We always have like you know. Oh, we, that's we, awesome. Yeah, okay. Rocky Horror, whatever. But you had your your birthday parties coming up, I believe. Right? Yes, it is. I sent you that invite. Yeah, for, but both of you are welcome to that. Uh, obviously, so okay. it's the week before what day, what your event, we're... so I don't know if uh, that Saturday. Ooh, how much? That's the seventh. I'm doing a fundraiser that Saturday, the seventh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, so if my, you need to get away for, even for an hour, you're obviously welcome to that. But you know, yeah, so I if I say a happy birthday, Jimmy J promo video, if I can't make it, it's there all right. <laughs> <laughs> totally dig it. Totally dig it. Uh, boys, I know yeah. you're also, uh, we're worn out today and everything when we talked earlier. So, you know, you know, you guys want to, uh, you know, thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, I will obviously see you in, um, days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The con uh, this weekend. See, there it goes again. The voice in the yeah. con this weekend uh, going on at NJ Con down yeah. there. And uh, you know, let me ask you about where, where we're on that subject right now. Um, what are you looking forward to this weekend? As far as uh, is there any guests you're you're looking forward to? Or you're going there like us. We're you know. I'm going. I, I it, it's funny because like each con has something different. So Monster Mania just went by, and that's like the WrestleMania, like like. Boom! Is here's yeah. the, there's so many people there. Like before, you know, the convention's over. Like I wish I got to talk to that person more. You know, your your time's pressed. But the NJ Horicon is good as well, and it's more scaled down. So I kind of feel like there's a lot more elbow room, and mm -hmm. you know, you kind of get to mingle a little yeah, more. Is, yeah. Like yes. yet, you want numbers to come up to help the con at the same time. <laughs> but you also got you know, you're in Atlantic City. It, it it benefits you know this there's a lot of room uh i this weekend it's one of them market yourself and at the same time the brother sisterhood of what the convention is you know it, it, you, you go in and just have a good time you know yeah yeah and you know what man like for this one for this this weekend i know we we got something special going on south jersey jason um, you know, the, the one thing I noticed, like when I first aligned myself, when the, the mega powers, if you will, if you're Hogan and Sat, I don't know if you're wrestling fans out there. Anyway, <laughs> that, that handshake. Anyway, when we got together, Hogan and Savage was Atlantic City. Oh, you was Atlantic City. Yeah. yeah. I can't yeah. do it because the voice is going in and out. Romania yeah. four and five were Atlantic yep. City. Yep. You dropped that big elbow. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> when, when I met up, uh, <laughs> when I got Brian over there, he was doing the fundraiser. Yeah. And he got a big one coming out. Fundraisers. Autism faces for autism, all going down at the showboat yeah. in Atlantic City. Maybe a little Randy said, "I got, I got a good." Up. I got, it was, it was all right. It was but, I think, I think your fundraiser, point. but do it in Jimmy's voice so no one laughs through what, what you're. What you're <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, please. Then. Anyway, uh, big fundraiser we're doing for faces for autism. It's a, it's a South Jersey. Um, I think organization, correct? Am I, out of, yeah. out of Ventnor, yes. It's out of Ventnor over there. So yeah. Brian, he's the guy. He reaches out. He's always trying to raise funds, uh, and I love it because it's not about what you take. It's about what you're giving back because you can't take anything with you when you're dead. And what we're doing for right here is we're giving back. Uh, this is Autism Awareness Month, 
So for Faces for Autism, we're raising funds. You come yeah. to our table, take a picture, donate whatever you want. There's no, no donation, no set amount. It's yeah. that's it. There's and no donation too small. Take as many pictures. I'll have props. I'll have a. Yeah. I'll have the Part Two Camp Crystal Lake sign. I'm going to bring uh, Mama Voorhees head with me. I'll have a uh, Horror Daddy '85 in a different costume each day. Yeah. And uh, yeah, no monet is whatever they want to donate, and 100 percent goes to Faces for Autism. It's literally. Uh, an organization that was started by parents. Sweet. And I could say something uh, very unique about the New Jersey Horror Con because it, because it takes place at the showboat. And this would be good for the pictures, but it is dog friendly. Mm -hmm. it, you, oh, yeah. So basically what I'm telling is you guys want to donate to autism. You can bring your dog and get in the picture with these guys. Oh, and absolutely. I think it would be a really oh, cool picture. Listen, yeah. I love, I yeah. Bring the dogs. I love dogs. I yeah. love, come on. This, this is the convention too that I stop every chance. I can. <laughs> Look, I bet your dog. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a, a guy, a gentleman that I don't know if you saw him. Um, he was at the last NJ in November. He cosplayed as Barf from Spaceballs. Yes. Yeah, he has a uh, Saint Bernard that's like the size of a horse, and uh, he had photo. He took photos with um, D. Wallace and Danny Pintoro. For Cujo, um, but I remember, bringing, I remember the St. Bernard because I got my picture with it. Yeah, so, he's, yeah. he's bringing them, he's bringing them this weekend. I think everybody did. Like when I was seeing everyone's like mood feed, like and I saw a dog, but everybody had the St. Bernard because he was yeah. really chill and huge, yeah. you know. Yeah, but, he was a, he's a love bug, that dog, but yeah, <laughs> I love people. They bring the dogs and uh, you know, they hop into photos with me. Uh, but yeah, this is a big thing that I've been planning because I'm eventually moving to Bethlehem to be closer to Jimmy. And uh, I want to go out with a bang. So you're gonna six ten it up, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so and then May seventh, I'm doing another big fundraiser uh, at the Hamilton Mall Level Ups Free Comic Book Day, and I'm raising money through UNICEF for the children of Ukraine as well. And that's from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on the second floor where the old Sears used to be. Sweet. All right, boys. Well, yeah, guys, man. thank you so freaking much for coming on and. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm really Thank proud you. to be a part of this with you. And uh, I'm going to give you a second to give your plugs. But I will just say for both of us, these guys have the Horror 365 page on YouTube. Please go subscribe to them, as well as this one for Average Superstar TV. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm telling you, everybody on YouTube, people say you hear when you watch them on YouTube and they're like, please subscribe. It For a, an explanation, it helps. For every time... You comment, like, or share. Yeah, it it, it help. It tells YouTube, hey, people want this yeah. video, mm -hmm. and they bump it forward. If you just nod your head and not subscribe, the video can't come flying forward the way the way we'd all like it. So again, Horror sixty five podcast and Average Superstar TV.